little wood splitting with the wetterlings. Large hunting axe. Trying to make a little flat portion on this dead, rotten log to do some splitting. Does the trick. A lot of knots in this wood. Well, tonight we're making fire. I'm going to use this Wetterling's uh, 20 inch large hunting axe and Bark River Bravo 1. So I've taken down some logs about this diameter, you know, about 3 inch logs, split those down with the Wetterling's axe. And I also did some that were about five inches thick, you know, something like that, as you saw. Now I'm going to split down some finer wood, maybe even split these down with the Bravo 1, make some feather sticks, some shavings, and we'll get a fire going. All right, let's move over to my fire ring, start making some kindling, some feather sticks, gather some tinder. All right, just for the experimentation of it, I'm using two different types of woods. The, the wood that I cut down with the axe was aspen. It's this wood that's got this grayish color, pretty light colored on the inside. And then this is that fir that I did most of the splitting with, um, with the axe and do some feather sticks and shavings with both just to kind of experiment see how they feel I mean I know how they both feel doing feather sticks and stuff but just to maybe see if there's a discernible difference on the screen so we'll start off real quick with the uh, with the fur clean up this edge a little bit I haven't decided if I'm making, if I'm going to make all my feather sticks into kindling, or if I'm going to make some of them for tinder.
keep going. Let's do some Aspen. Um, Aspen is a pretty soft wood. Whether or not it's green or dead, I've always found it to be quite soft. A lot of the dead standing coniferous that I find here, like the fir and the spruce, they're from generally smaller trees. And so they've got a lot of little branches or the remnants, the knots that they create. Cut that off. I've generally found I can get a tender feather stick out of aspen a little easier than I can out of the the firs and spruces that are around here. Fine ones on this here. And gather some twigs. This is going to be a hybrid split wood twig fire. This kind of tree is a good find. It's got red pine ne red uh, needles and twigs. Combine those two, you've got really good kindling. All right, so the way I'm gonna do this, off camera I tried to make some fine shavings uh, with the same wood, and then I've got my feather sticks just laid out here so they're easily accessible one by one. And then I've got really small um, twigs broken off a tree mixed with uh, red pine needles, and then I've got the really fine split kindling, and then next step bigger, next step bigger, and then this is just the size that I'm gonna use for my fuel tonight. And that's pretty much it. So let me get my stuff, my fire still ready, and we'll give it a go. Looks like I need to build it. There we go. Those flames are tall enough to catch those pine needles. As if they catch those pine needles, I'm good. There we go. So just for good measure, I'll throw my feather sticks in there.
blow the flame over to my feather sticks. Put the knife away. And I'll just lay my kindling over. I can really throw it on because with those shaving or the red pine needles, they burn real hot, but they do burn fast. I'm gonna keep feeding my feather sticks. I can get my now you can see those are burning. So I'll lay the next set over. And I think I can just go ahead and put these on there as well. Don't think I'll put the fuel size wood on yet, at all tonight, I mean, because as soon as this dies down, I gotta get on out of here. But uh, that was fire making using the Wetterlings Axe, Bark River uh, Bravo 1, and a fire steel. Thanks for watching, guys.